Hi everyone, welcome back to The Chosen One by Ashley. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new, thank you so much for joining. Thank you so much for your support. Today's word is, God said don't lead my people wrong. Repent first. God wants you to repent. Some of you that is leading God people, you need to repent. Some of you are doing things out of the will of God and you want to make sure your hands is clean. When you praying for people, when you interceding and when you sowing seeds, you want to make sure that your hands is clean with God. The Bible verse that I want to come from is Acts 3 and 19 and it reads, Repent then and turn to God so that your sins may be wiped out, that times of refreshing may come from the Lord. So I just want to say be encouraged, you know, sometimes we do, we do a lot of things in our life and it's very important that we come to God about everything that we're going through. I just want to make sure that you tell God that you repent. If you did anything out of his will, always repent because you don't want to be leading people to Christ and you still sinning and you still touching things that you shouldn't be touching. So make sure you clean your sin up, which means repent, turn away from it, ask God to help you to live a clean life and be free within yourself. And don't allow the devil to keep brainwashing you and turning you against God. Tell the devil to flee and tell him to go. Tell him no weapon formed against me shall prosper. Tell him you are led by God and you are chosen by God. So I just want you to know that when you lead God people, make sure you lead them right and make sure you do what you're supposed to do as well. When you touching God people, you want to make sure your hands is clean because if your hands not clean, you will deal with some consequences from God. And you don't want God to take you out so please repent for all of your sins. If you did something wrong, ask God for repentance and ask God to clean your sin away. Anything that you was doing, anything that you was doing. If you were sitting there having sex, you know, playing with yourself, whatever you was doing in your alone time and you was guilty of something and you went to a court case about something, something you did, give it to God and lead God people right. Always tell people your story. Tell people what you've been through. Tell people that God can change them. God can change anybody. Like I told y'all before, I was a sinner. God can change anybody. He can change your name. He can change your title. He can change everything about you. When you put God first, he going to make sure that he take care of you. So I just want you to know that you already blessed and you already anointed by God. So please stop putting God first and let God lead the way for you. And if you want to lead God, people, make sure your hands is clean. Repent, turn away from your sins, and give your life to God. And tell God that you love him, that you care, and you're going to do everything in his will to serve him. Because when you tell people about God, you want to make sure your hands is clean. You want to make sure that you're doing everything in the will of God. doesn't matter what people may say or what people may do. You lead them the right way. Because you got to realize, God going to ask you questions and God is going to lead you to help people to be saved, help people to be delivered. But you want to make sure your hands is clean. Don't touch nobody if your hands is filthy. If you just got finished having sex and all this stuff and you trying to pray for somebody, you ain't doing nothing but putting your sin on their forehead. You ain't doing nothing but, you know, playing games. So ask God to clean you. Ask God to purge your hands. Ask God to remove sin from you, and he will. So don't be discouraged. Give it all to God, and God will forgive you. I love you all. Have a great, beautiful day. Don't be discouraged. Don't give up. I pray about all things. Stay blessed. Thank you for watching.